Hello there. If you are a digital artist who is using Photoshop and also like to use it, AI generate images in your work, then this plugins is great, great tool for you. So we know before we already have it, some plugins for Photoshop that utilize us to render AI images. And an example here is one from Stable Art. And this is plugin is very nice and you can download it this plugin from Adobe Marketplace for free. It's a stable diffusion in um, inside Photoshop plugin. Work very well, um, very well done, very simple to use. However, my biggest problem with this specific plugin, it is rely on external services. So it is utilize or uh, Dream Studio where you need to have an account or DALI uh, account. In both ways, you need actually buy credits, you need buy tokens or whatever they call and it's pay per render per image. Also, it will connect to internet, send information there, receiving and all this stuff. And it's limited to specific models that those guys provide. However, with an, another plugin, you can select what model you want to use it. And most of all, you can run on your local machine without any internet connections. And this is a big plus because you can utilize real power, fast render and all customizations. So how do we do this? First, you want to go to the plugin website on the GitHub and download the repository. So while this will be downloading, we'll do other steps. How to download, just go on this page, scroll down, I will provide a link below and you'll notice right here, line where it says download the plugin. It will require the Git install on your machine. And you should already have it if you install Stable Diffusion. If you don't have it, Stable Diffusion install on your local machine and you're interested, I will provide link below and probably above for you to click and watch this video how you can do this. For this video, we'll use it automatic 111. It's what they recommended use the installation of Stable Diffusion. Okay, in this case, you need to open command prompt copy, paste, and put it in location where you want to uh, this reside. So for me, I have it right here, example, Stable Diffusion 2.2, where I have it, Stable Diffusion from Mathematic Web UI, install it, and just above, I have this plugin, install it. You'll notice as it created, it will have this GitHub uh, file in tracking information. It's kind of very nice because every time when you run, it will go online, verify, uh, with uh, if any new updates, pull them. I mean, it's a very nice way to actually synchronize all applications. So right here, we install it. Till it's installed, let's go make couple modifications. And one modification you want to do, go inside with installation of your stable diffusion, go down to this says web UI user that batch file. And inside this file, we want to add this line dash dash API to command arguments. It's allowed the stable diffusion to share API calls between external applications, kind of like communication established. Otherwise, it will contain. So right here, when you install it, just put this line and save it. So this is all what we need to do with stable diffusion. Next, we need to go inside the Photoshop, click on edit, go down to the preferences and in preference, click on the plugins. So you should have it, the plugin preference open for you. In this preference, we want to be sure this enable developer mode is check in. What are we going to do right now? We're going to use the special application from Adobe that allowed us to run uh, plugins in developer mode. It's meaning plugins that is still kind of need special access, but they're not yet pass full certification from Adobe or put on the market. And Sometimes take time, but this is safe application, but it's again, it will require some savings to allow this run on Photoshop. So right here, enable developer mode, need be check in and go ahead and click OK on this. After this, we actually need developer tool because we just enable developer and this is we need to go to develop Adobe and download it UXP application right here, this path, and I will provide link for you down below in descriptions. When you're going to be sure you just download it, you XP developer tool. Then you can launch and open this application. You will have it plugins, 
Right now, here's already installed this plugin before, so we'll just repeat it. But generally, you won't have it anything installed at all if you have a clean installation and nothing. So this is area will be empty for you. Be sure you just make this application running as we're working along. Okay, at this point, if you continue downloading, you should go ahead and check if you um, get a uh, hip for the plugin all finished downloading so if you have it all files is available when it's finished this done we need now put it inside our plugin for this we'll go back to your developer tool and click on a button which says add plugin then we're going to navigate to area where we just install it in this case adobe photoshop stable diffusion plugin and we'll select this file called manifest.json this file is provide a configuration information for our plugin go ahead and click open in my case i should have an error pop up right here because i already have installed this file in yours it will be green and it says plugin added successfully so let's go ahead and enable our application first what we want to do it's a go ahead and start start server that batch inside the adobe photoshop stable diffusion plugin directory this is we done for a couple reasons the one main is be sure it's connected to GitHub and get latest installations and also perform all necessary installations for us to complete. After it's done, you can actually uh, close or we're going to restart this in shortly. Okay, after this, let's go ahead and perform a couple steps. First, we go ahead and launch start our stable diffusion server itself. Right here, I started and it's actually working on the port. I think right here, this is our port and local server. So I open also web page to be sure, verify if it's running properly for me. Okay, after this, we go ahead and launch start server.batch again. And this time it should just run fine with no updates because we're already done. And right here, you can see the start. Again, if you have any information, it will pull out, but it should start running and we'll have it about this kind of states, it stop. And at this time we are ready to use. So let's go inside the Photoshop and in Photoshop. Okay, so after installation, we need to go inside Photoshop and we can access plugins by click on plugins. And you notice right here, we have it after Photoshop Stable Diffusion plugin and you can click and open. I put mine on the side of the bar so it's easy to access. As we open, you'll notice right on the top, we have a different models that you can select. This is your local models that install it. Below, we also have a generate mode, additional option of snapshots, reset it and so on. And let's go ahead, um, dark castle, dark castle maybe, night, haze, spooky, how about that? Okay, so you can put your prompt, your negative prompt. It does accept the double brackets and other things. Notice we have it also text to image. It's what we're using right now. We have it image to image, in painting and out painting options. Some of these options I will cover in our other tutorials. We're going to work on a specific project and see how they all work. Okay, so below we have it our resolutions, height and width. And this is mostly if you select, if you create a specific image, I'll show you in this case, we will actually need to use the marquee tool. So let's go down and we have it our seed and also samplers. We'll just leave this alone for now, create this way. Let's create new layer just in case. And I'm going to select market tools. And this is kind of you need to do because if you don't select and create market tools, it'll give you some errors. Right here, I'm going to drag through all of our image all the way. And we can get go ahead and click generate. Okay, right here you can see it's generating. We also can go ahead and check on our server that is processing locally. Right there we can see a process going on on our local server. And when it's completed, we should have it our image. Again, this is not total photorealistic, but it is kind of in a way nicely applied. Notice it cover all our area as we need it. At this moment, we can do whatever we wanted. Soft lights overlay, we can compose we can use as background for green screen or some other options if you have it more than one image you can selection of the images as well and they will be applied right here for example in the view area you also can go from history prompts prompts will help you with some see of the um how to co configure we have it also 
additional properties and including settings where we have it our URL is set. This is by default. So you can see it's very easy afterwards to use. It's very efficient. It is locally on a machine and you can use all these different models that you wanted to work with specific style or specific ideas you have it in your mind. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give us thumbs up, subscribe. Remember all those links to the resources, I will put it down below so you can install it and try for yourself.